Good morning, Happy Cat Friday Eagles. Today is Thursday, February 24th, 2022. It is day five of our specials rotation. At this time, please stand for the pledge as Ms. Pila's class introduces themselves and leads us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. <clears throat> You may be seated. All right, we're back, and it is Thursday, my favorite day of the day of the week because it's PLC day. Oh, it is today. So, and yes. that's when teachers um, are doing some more learning and looking at data and things like that. Because even teachers, students are lifelong learners, so everybody can learn to be a little bit better every Absolutely. day. Get better every yep. day. Speaking about being better, you've been giving us some uh, words of motivation. Yes, you know, we, we, we're always talking about our three R's, being respectful, being responsible, and ready to learn. And this week, we really wanted to focus on that word respect and then talk about examples. You know, yesterday I talked about um, making sure you're waiting your turn and raising your hand to speak and being respectful there. And then also using your manners, those please and thank yous is being respectful there. So a couple more examples today, kind of how you could show respect is, you know, one thing we always kind of talk about is following directions. It could be from a staff member, from your teacher, and not only just following directions, but following directions the first time. So it shouldn't be, you know, the teacher asking, hey, can you take out your pencil? Oh, please, can you take out your pencil? It should be the first time. Being Showing that respect means that you're listening mm -hmm. and you're following through with that direction right there. Yeah, um, of course. And then another one that also is, you know, it's not always what you say, but it's how you say it, okay? So your appropriate tone is how you can show respect. So. You know, it's how you can, how that tone, you know, and you guys know that tone of, you know, that respectful tone, that disrespectful tone. So it's not always what you say, but it's how you say it. And it's always kind of have the expression of either physical, your physical expression right there or your vocal expression of how you say it there, of how we can show respect. I also want to talk about respecting yeah. our school environment and the, and the, the um, with our uniforms. So just remember that here at Hector Cafrata, we do have a uniform policy, a dress code policy, and we want to dress for success. Yes, you know what I mean? Absolutely. The more likely that we are dressed appropriately and professionally, the more that we're going to learn. So just a couple reminders. One is that everyone is supposed to be wearing a, a solid color polo shirt, okay? It's not cold out anymore, so there's really no need to see uh, hoodies and, yeah, and sweatshirts jackets, and yeah. things like that. And then on the bottom, it's supposed to be shorts or a skirt or like a jumper, okay? Um, so please leave all those leggings and all those things at home and make sure that you are in uniform. And then let's talk about shoes. Yes. You should have closed toed shoes like sneakers, okay? No open toes, so no sandals, yep. no, Crocs. no Crocs. Crocs aren't allowed. Yep. Um, no slippers, things like that. If you have questions about the dress code, you be sure to ask Mr. LeCutter. Yep. So we'll that goes right within the following directions. Oh, respect yep. right there. Exactly. So showing their respect as So well make sure that. you let your parents know too, and we'll be sending out a reminder to them as well. Okay? Yep. Absolutely. All right, we do have some birthdays today. Okay, happy birthday to Angel Butrago in grade four, Caleb Gomez in grade five, Gabriel Hernandez Lopez in grade two, and Ronald Rodriguez Ramos in grade one. So happy birthday. Yep, we hope you all have a fantastic day. And then, crew, what's for lunch today? Today for lunch we will have fruit, potato toast, grilled cheese sandwich, or a salad, or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. All right, grilled cheese, tater tots, salad, Ooh, or peanut butter and jelly. Good, good choices. Yeah, there. some good choices. So thank you to our cafeteria crew. We know that all the ladies are working hard to get breakfasts and lunches out and everything, and we appreciate all that they do as well. Um, that's all for today. Do you have anything else? Um, nope, just a side note. Remember, continue to keep reading and that's get right. to your goals right now. I know we didn't talk about this week, but we are, I'll be updating our school-wide goal. And I know a lot of kids Ooh. have been talking about our, our sleep on the roof right there. So, I know. I hope know. it doesn't rain that night. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but remember, we are going to be also recognizing those top word count classrooms, those most improved classrooms. So continue to read, 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 yep. read, and then take those tests so your word count can be We get those counts. 30 million yep. words, 30 million words. All right, don't forget to be respectful, be responsible, be ready to learn. But most importantly, remember what? Smiles are free! Smiles are free!
smiles or phrases, share one with a friend. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Thursday, guys.